hummingbirds. Hi, friends. Today, we're going to learn about hummingbirds. You can read along with us by downloading the lesson plan from our website, learnbright.org. What are hummingbirds? Ornithologists are scientists who study birds, and they group them into families. The family name for a hummingbird is the Trochilidae. This family has over 350 members or species, making it the second largest bird family in the world. There are only about 17 species of hummingbird in the United States, and the rest live in Central and South Americas. Most hummingbirds are tiny and weigh less than a penny. The smallest hummingbird lives in Peru and is the size of a bee. So it is called the bee hummingbird. A hummingbird can fly between 25 and 30 miles per hour, as fast as many species of bees. Their wings beat extremely fast to move at this speed, producing a humming sound. And you guessed it, this is where they get their name. Hummingbirds are unique because they can fly forward or backward or just hover in place. In fact, they are the only birds that can fly backward. What do they eat? Just like humans, hummingbirds love sugary treats. Hummingbirds have a high metabolism, which means they need lots of energy. Your metabolism is the chemical processes in your cells that convert food into energy. Hummingbirds get their energy from a sugar called nectar. Most nectar comes from flowers, but people can also make nectar by mixing water and sugar. Hummingbirds use their long tongues to lap up nectar from flowers. Their tongues have unique grooves to help them eat. Hummingbirds can't live on only sugar. They also need protein, minerals, and vitamins to stay healthy and strong. To get these, they also eat bugs. Usually, hummingbirds will open their long beaks and catch insects in midair while flying. Hummingbirds are very territorial. They pick an area, like a specific flower garden or feeder, and claim it as their own. They do not like to share food from their site and will fight to defend their territory from other hummingbirds or any other kind of bird. Other interesting facts. Because hummingbirds are brightly colored, they're often named after their colorful feathers or unusual appearance. As a result, many names sound like fairies, princesses, or even action figures. Here are some examples. Green-crowned wood nymph, black-eared fairy, fire-throated metal tail, and the horned sun gem. In a single day, a hummingbird can feed on hundreds of flowers. With the fastest metabolism of any bird on the planet, they must eat all day long just to get enough energy. Their heart beats over 500 times per minute. For comparison, your heart only beats about 60 to 100 times per minute. Because of this, hummingbirds eat about the weight of their body in one day. In fact, if they go more than a few hours without food, they can starve to death. Hummingbirds are well known for their great courage. The ancient Aztec Indians who lived in and around Mexico would wear necklaces made of hummingbird feathers before going into battle. They believed the birds had great courage and power. Despite being very small, they defended their territory with great strength against larger birds. Many people today still associate the hummingbird with a symbol of courage. Why are they important to the environment? Since hummingbirds eat nectar, they are also responsible for pollinating flowers. As they eat, pollen often falls onto their wings. And since they travel from flower to flower all day, they can pollinate many flowers. They also eat a lot of insects, which helps keep the population under control. Gardeners and farmers love to see hummingbirds around their gardens because they are such excellent pollinators and keep the insect population from eating their plants. At this time, there are no endangered hummingbirds in North America. But the bad news is that many hummingbirds are threatened in Central and South America. Many of them have lost their habitats and don't have anywhere to live. Because of this, people are building special parks where hummingbirds can go to live. They provide lots of flowers, water, and hanging feeders so the hummingbirds can thrive. Now that we have learned some interesting facts about hummingbirds, let's review. Choose the word the author would say best describes the hummingbird. A. Defenseless. B. Colorful. C. Bland. D. Slow. E. Predator. The answer is B.
Colorful. In the lesson, the author uses the word metabolism. What is the meaning of metabolism? Metabolism is the chemical reactions that take place in cells to change food into energy. True or false? At this time, there are no endangered hummingbirds in North America. If you said true, you got it right. Great work, hummingbird heroes. If you are interested in cool facts about other creatures, make sure to check out learnbright.org for even more lesson plans. Hope you had fun learning with us. Visit us at learnbright.org for thousands of free resources and turnkey solutions for teachers and homeschoolers.